Hi, it's Rosie from I Heart Recipes, and in this video, I am going to share the best recipe for chili cheese Frito pie. At any time that you want the exact measurements, visit iHeartRecipes.com. I'm going to start off with my ground beef that I have in my pan. I'm going to cook it over medium heat. As you see, there's a lot of fat at the bottom of the pan, so I need to hurry up and drain that. So once it was drained, I just made sure that the meat was nicely broken down. You know, I'm going to do that with my spatula, as you can see. And now I'm going to start adding in my onions. I minced my onions really fine because my son says he hates onions, but as long as he doesn't see them, he doesn't complain. So I'm going to mix the meat and the onions until it's well combined and now I'm going to add in some garlic. Followed by the garlic, I'm just going to mix everything once more and then I'm going to start adding in some crushed tomatoes. I didn't use a whole lot of tomatoes but you can uh, add more if you want. Let's add in some tomato sauce. And now we're just going to give everything a nice stir and if I forgot to say, I'm not sure if I forgot but this is over medium heat. So now I'm going to sprinkle in some chili powder. I did add a little bit of cumin off camera. I'm going to use salt free seasoning but you can definitely use seasoning salt. It's your uh, preference, whatever that is, that's what you use. And now we're going to sprinkle in a little sugar just to bring the acidity levels down from the tomatoes and tomato sauce. I chopped up some cilantro, I'm going to add that on in there. And don't forget, if you haven't already, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you in advance, I love you forever. Now we're going to toss in some green onions. We're going to let this simmer for about, let's say, 20 to 25 minutes. And you know what, I almost forgot to add in some water, so I'm going to do that. So once the chili is done, this is meat chili. You can add beans, by the way, but that's what it will look like. And of course, you're going to need some Fritos because we're making a Frito pie. So I'm using the scoops, but you can use um, a different shape of Frito if you want. Just add your Fritos at the bottom, in the bottom of a casserole dish. And now we're going to pour the chili all over. I always have more chili than I need, and I just save it and make like chili dogs the next day. Just, you know, a little hint if you have more chili than you need. We're going to top the chili off with some cheese. I have a combination of mozzarella and cheddar. Again, don't forget to get the exact measurements from my blog, iHeartRecipes.com. And this part is optional, but I'm going to add some tomatoes and some green onions on top. So now we're going to pop this into the oven on broil just until the cheese melts. And once it is all done, this is the outcome. Delicious, cheesy, easy frito pie. Thank you so much for watching you all. I truly appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And visit me every Sunday and Wednesdays for new video uploads.